Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Mr. Vic Kicks back with y'all with another video. And uh, this video, I like to show you guys uh, what I picked up for the month of February. So, yeah, without further ado, let me go and grab the shoes real quick and I'll be right back. So, yeah, I'll start off with the two shoes. I already made uh, separate reviews on them. And if you haven't seen them, I'll put the link in the description box. So, click on them and you can watch them. So, this is the KD7 Aunt Pearls. Right there. You guys can look at them. And the Jordan 4 Oreos. So yeah, let's get into the new the uh, uh, other pickups that I have I don't have made videos for. So yeah, um February was a I picked up a lot of shoes, but um just uh just to tell you guys I didn't pay for all these shoes. I traded for most of them. The only two shoes that I paid for were the Oreos and then the Aunt Pearls. So yeah, uh don't think that I'm like balling or some sort of way, but I just I want to tell you guys I did not pay it. Uh, I only paid for like one of them, and I got them for a ridiculous price. And I'll tell you guys that in the video. But I'm just gonna fly through them. And if you guys want me to make reviews on any of them separately, uh, just comment below, and I'll make a review for them by themselves. Starting off, we have the Kobe Eight Venice Beaches right here. Pretty dope shoe in my opinion. Very clean. The Kobe Eight Pythons. Really love this color. I think this colorway is one of the most slept on Kobe 8s. Love the brown, the two, the different colors of browns, and then the red and the oranges make the shoe pop even more. Give you guys a good look at them. KD6 All Star Games. These were the only shoes that I paid for, and I paid uh, 60 bucks for them, I believe, uh, which is a hell of a deal because considering the condition they're in, they're basically like 9.5 out of 10. So yeah, uh, 60 bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, the KD6 Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Yeah, the KD6 PB&Js. Really dope. Right there. Uh, now to my two favorite pickles of the, this month. The LeBron 10 All-Star Games right there. Pretty, pretty clean, dope. As you guys know, I'm a big LeBron fan. So having these in the collection is a must. And I guess that you can say this is one of my all-time favorite shoe. And I'm glad to have these in my collection. And they're just so beautiful to me. I know a lot of people won't like them, but I personally love them. And this is the LeBron 8 All-Star Game. So like I said, February was a big month for me. And sneakers um, picked up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sneakers. So yeah, if you guys want to know how I got each one of them besides this one, and this one, and this one, I will make um, a, rev uh, a video separately if you guys want to know and what I traded for them. So yeah, comment below if you guys um, want to see separate reviews on these or see how I what trades I did for them. Uh, and then yeah, just hit that thumbs up button if you guys like this video subscribe for more content and until next time guys peace